Chris at Venture Chiropractic and Venture Fitness. We're back with another Fitness Friday, and today I want to talk about the key to progress, and that's to regress. What do I mean by that? Well, it means in a previous video we talked about the sit to stand test, and if you can't get yourself up off of the floor without having to push off of your hands or knees um, or grab onto something next to you, this actually has a huge effect on our life. It's one of the best predictors we have of, of physical movement in estimating somebody's overall mortality in the next 10 years. That means if you can't do that, you're not as likely to survive. So that's a big, big problem. We want people to stay moving throughout their entire lives. So to keep our mobility or to get it back, some people say, well, I can't do that anymore, so I guess all hope is gone. That's not the case at all. You can get these movements back with a little bit of work and if you work at it smart. So if we can't even think about getting off the floor without using our hands right now, let's regress the exercise back a little bit. Let's pick a really easy version of the exercise that we know we can do. So for most of us, we can say, well, if I had something to hang on to, I know I could do the exercise. So come on over to this bar with me. Instead of picking up this weight, we're gonna use it to stabilize ourselves. We could use a hand railing at home, maybe the kitchen sink to hang on to, anything that's really sturdy, okay? Uh, we're gonna hang on with our hands. We're getting our feet close to what we're gonna hang on to, and we're going to sit back into a squat, and then come back up. Try that. We can go as deep as our knees feel comfortable. If that means we can go all the way down, fantastic. But a lot of us are gonna start out just going right here. Maybe we've got a little bit of knee discomfort. Maybe it's a little hard for our backside to push ourselves back up. Maybe our back hurts a little bit. Just practice doing the pain-free range of motion. Typically over several sets, you're gonna drop a little deeper into that motion. Over several days or weeks, you're gonna drop much deeper into that motion, get stronger coming back out of it. Once that's no longer a challenge, when you can do 10 or so repetitions of that, we're going to go over to something like a block here. Now at home, we can use the stairs, we could use a chair. Uh, we call these box squats, right? So we take a box or something sturdy, a bench that we can hang on to, and we stand in front of it. This is now our safety net. If I feel like I'm going to lose my balance or something doesn't feel right, worst case scenario is, I'm just sitting down, I'm not gonna get hurt doing this. But we practice doing our squats without anything to hang on to now, but we're going through a much shorter range of motion. We're gonna make sure that we're keeping our knees lined up square so there's no pain or grinding sensation. We're gonna keep our core active, keep our glutes squeezed when we come out of the squat. We're gonna keep it nice and easy. Once that height, that quarter squat is easy, we're gonna go ahead and either find a new box or a lower chair, or we're gonna go to the next step down on the stairway, whatever works for you, we're gonna go to a deeper squat now. We're gonna practice getting really, really good at those squats, making sure that we keep our head balanced straight over the midsole of the foot is really important. But if we're focusing on how much our back or our knees hurts, it's really hard to do something like this with good form when all we're thinking about is the pain. Finally, you know, we can take that down even a little bit lower. Now we're getting parallel with the floor. This is a full squat for lots of people. We maybe aren't worried about going any lower than this because without bending the back forward too much, we can get down and actually sweep that floor, which means we can pick things up off the floor without hurting ourselves. But when we want to go all the way down to the floor, now we're maybe gonna just practice sitting down gracefully, okay, without falling. If you fall a little bit at the end, hey, what's the worst that's gonna happen? We might go ahead and just touch down a little bit at the end, but we're not gonna get hurt doing that, okay? If we still struggle to get up, maybe we still get up the way we used to, but we go ahead and cross back in that and just focus on falling as slowly as possible until that movement gets easier. So we're just doing what we call the negative part of the exercise. We're just doing the downward movement. Do that long enough and you'll build up uh, those muscles over time, get really strong at doing the movement. We can use this and apply this principle of regression to pretty much any exercise out there. There's always an easier version and a harder version and probably lots of variations in between. Go to the easier one. Perform the one you can do with perfect form and get better at doing multiple repetitions of that. 
once you can do 10 or more, then we want to think about going to do a harder variation of the exercise. We'll be back to show you guys more progressions and regressions of all of the common exercises that you use throughout your daily life. We're always here at Adventure Chiropractic to help you move better, feel better, be a better you. Everybody's moving, everybody's moving, everybody's moving, 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 moving. Everybody's moving, everybody's moving, everybody's moving.